Not so long ago, we lived in a universe with only a small number of known planets, all of them orbiting our Sun. But a new raft of discoveries marks a scientific high point. More than 5,000 planets are now confirmed to exist beyond our solar system. Is this the greatest discovery we have ever made about the universe? Not the greatest, but it definitely will change everything. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about a new discovery in our vast universe which has thrilled scientists. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Since NASA's inception in 1958, astronauts have landed on the Moon, parked a robot-controlled rover on Mars, and discovered thousands of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside of this solar system. The 5,000-plus planets found so far include small, rocky worlds like Earth, gas giants many times larger than Jupiter, and hot Jupiters in scorchingly close orbits around their stars. There are super-Earths, which are possible rocky worlds bigger than our own, and mini-Neptunes, smaller versions of our system's Neptune. In addition, add to the mix planets orbiting two stars at once, and planets stubbornly orbiting the collapsed remnants of dead stars. It's not just a number, said Jesse Christensen, science lead for the archive and a research scientist with the NASA Exoplanet Science Institute at Caltech in Pasadena. Each one of them is a new world, a brand new planet. I get excited about every one because we don't know anything about them. However, we do know this. Our galaxy likely holds hundreds of billions of such planets. The steady drumbeat of discovery began in 1992, with strange new worlds orbiting an even stranger star. It was a type of neutron star known as a pulsar, a rapidly spinning stellar corpse that pulses with millisecond bursts of searing radiation. So measuring slight changes in the timing of the pulses allowed scientists to reveal planets in orbit around the pulsar. Finding just three planets around this spinning star essentially opened the floodgates, said Alexander Volstin, the lead author on the paper that 30 years ago unveiled the first planets to be confirmed outside our solar system. If you can find planets around a neutron star, planets have to basically be everywhere, Volstin said. The planet production process has to be very robust. Volstjen, who still searches for exoplanets as a professor at Penn State, says we're opening an era of discovery that will go beyond simply adding new planets to the list. The Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, launched in 2018, continues to make new exoplanet discoveries. But soon, powerful next-generation telescopes and their highly sensitive instruments, starting with the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope, will capture light from the atmospheres of exoplanets, reading which gases are present to potentially identify telltale signs of habitable conditions. In addition, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, expected to launch in 2027, will make new exoplanet discoveries using a variety of methods. Furthermore, the ESA mission Ariel, launching in 2029, will observe exoplanet atmospheres. A piece of NASA technology aboard called CASE will help zero in on exoplanet clouds and hazes. To my thinking, it is inevitable that we'll find some kind of life somewhere, most likely of some primitive kind, Bolshjan said. Therefore, the close connection between the chemistry of life on Earth and chemistry found throughout the universe, as well as the detection of widespread organic molecules, suggests detection of life itself is only a matter of time," he added. But how can we find these other habitable worlds? The picture didn't always look so bright. The first planet detected around a sun-like star in 1995 turned out to be a hot Jupiter, a gas giant about half the mass of our own Jupiter, in an extremely close four-day orbit around its star. A year on this planet, in other words, lasts only four days. More such planets appeared in the data from ground-based telescopes once astronomers learned to recognize them. First dozens, then hundreds. They were found using the wobble method, tracking slight back-and-forth motions of a star, caused by the gravitational tugs 
from orbiting planets. But still, nothing looked likely to be habitable. Now, this is where James Webb Telescope comes in, because as mentioned earlier, it will play a huge part in finding new, habitable exoplanets in our universe. Now that the mighty James Webb is finally in space, it will surpass Hubble as the world's premier space telescope. It will provide us key new insights into our own solar system, as well as distant worlds around other stars. According to a planetary scientist and astrophysicist at MIT, Sarah Seeger, the Webb represents the culmination of decades, if not centuries, of astronomy. We've been waiting for this for a very long time. We know these planets are there, but beyond their presence, size, and distance from their stars, we don't know much about them. Therefore, after the launch of James Webb, many scientists and researchers are hopeful that we will be able to give us our first glimpses into atmospheres of Earth-like exoplanets. Astronomer Joanna Barstow spoke of this possibility in 2015 at the National Astronomy Meeting in Wales. She said that although it's possible JWST will be able to detect a distant Earth-like world, it won't be easy. She stated, a planet's atmosphere provides a good guide to likely conditions on the surface. The Earth's atmosphere contains significant amounts of nitrogen, oxygen, ozone, and water. By contrast, its inhospitable evil twin Venus has an atmosphere made mostly of carbon dioxide, which drives its surface temperatures to a blistering 450 degrees Celsius. So one of the very first research targets of the James Webb is TRAPPIST-1, an exoplanet system of seven Earth-sized rocky planets around an ultra-cool dwarf star with an effective temperature of less than 2700 K which is approximately 4,400 degrees Fahrenheit. Three of these planets are within the habitable zone of the system's star, the zone within which planetary surface temperatures are capable of sustaining liquid water, according to NASA. However, being in the habitable zone alone does not mean these planets are capable of sustaining life. That is dependent on several indicators, called biomarkers in astronomy. The most important of these biomarkers is the composition of their atmospheres, which would need to have significant quantities of methane, oxygen, water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other gases in similar proportion to those observed on Earth. In this regard, Barstow conducted a study showing that James Webb might be able to differentiate between a planet with Earth-like atmosphere and one with more hostile conditions, such as our neighbor planet Venus. The results of this study showed that James Webb will have the capability to detect key markers that could indicate the presence of a climate like our own when looking at Earth-sized planets around stars that are similar and redder than our Sun. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Do you believe we have actually a second home humans to survive and thrive? Share your views with us in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.